if it feels like wax. Where was it? In the washer machine. Maybe it's soap. It's been folded up on top of the washer. Wolf Walker. Hmm. Be fierce, be wild, be free. to our home. I'm Princess. And I'm the Goob. And this is Gulps and Games. The weekly show where we have some drinks, give a background on it, and play a game, give a little how-to, showcase the game. And uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Uh, if you're actually watching it on Christmas, thank you. Uh, I'm assuming most people will not be on YouTube on Christmas, but you never know. Maybe I want something in the background here. Can I put my drink up now? Sure. Oh, okay. Um, now it's a Merry Christmas. So, uh, I saw these at Kroger. Um, they look pretty neat. We have... Oh, I don't know. Naughty Red. Naughty and Nice. Oh, well, sorry. What's yours? Oh, Both it's, they're both red. Okay. Yeah. This one, uh, Nice is a semi-sweet because nice people are sweet like me. And hers is dry because naughty people have a dry sense of humor and don't get puns and jokes. Naughty. Yep. Okay. So, uh, um, we can go ahead and crack them open. Uh, do we start with sweet and move to dry, or do we do it the other way around? Dry. Dry first? Okay. Yeah, dry first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, go ahead and... <laughs> I don't know. You asked me off guard. I think no, it would be dry It's first. not a twist off, is it? I just assumed it would be a twist off. I don't know. Let's find out. It's looking like it's probably not. Oh, weird. It was so small, I thought for sure it'd be a twist off. So, uh, please, please, uh, excuse nope. me for a brief intermission. And we're back, and we have a actual bottle opener now. Um, so, uh, these are from Chateau Chantel, or Chantal, it's Chantal. Um, it's originally opened by the uh, Begin family in 1993. It was a bed and breakfast along with a winery and vineyard. Um, we'll say vineyard estate. And then uh, it was opened by Robert Nadine and their daughter, Marie Chantal. And they have since grown the property with a 15,000 square foot expansion. And they have a 65 acre estate on Old Mission Peninsula. There's a there's a lot more. Um, on you? Uh, yeah, that's me. Um, there, there's more history with them, but I thought you know um, there was a lot actually. So I thought you know we might probably gonna have their wine again. So why overblog you with too much information? We can just give you a little gist of it. And... Is that the wrong one? There's one I like more. Can I see the front of that one? I think it's that one I like. I think, I think this is the one you usually give me. <laughs> yeah, I like, I, this one's, it's fatter furriness. Okay. 
and I like it better. Anyways, why don't you read the description on the bottle? Oh. Naughty is a dry red blend with no harsh or bitter taste and full of deep fruit flavors. Throw the rules out the window. This is this red is even versatile enough to go well with fish. Now that is naughty. Could have read that better, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Thank you, Linda Denniston, for these beautiful wine glasses. Can I say where other people can get them? Yeah, and I just have to put that included in a paid promotion. You can get these at J and J Designs Artisan Boutique in Vassar, Michigan, along with lots of other painted wine glasses by Linda Denniston. Cut commercial break. Oh, that was a commercial break. <laughs> well, I am. Smells good. Ew, I've had a lot better dry wine than that. Sorry, guys. I like it. It, it would be better. I like I like dry woody, hmm. dry woody flavors. I Man, it's not horrible. It's better than Lambrusco. <laughs> Do they even make that anymore? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Can anyone tell what song is going in my head by the movement of the Don't hand sing it, we'll get, we'll get in trouble. Hat. I'm not singing it. Okay. Okay, done with that. <laughs> Thing. Oh, they're only $5.99 each. Hmm. Nice is a fruity, semi sweet wine made from a blend of the finest red grapes. Pairs great with pizza, grilled foods, mm. and even BLT sandwiches. Pizza. I haven't had BLT in ages. I like to have wine that goes with pizza. <laughs> Enjoy slightly chilled. Hey! Oops. Bye. Oh. Mmm. That still tastes kind of dry, though. Well, it's like it's semi-sweet. I do like that one better. I do like it better, too. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. What game we playing, babe? So, today we're playing National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, in case you couldn't tell um, by my little uh, moose cup that I got in the front there, uh, it was going to be a National Lampoon's game. Now, can you guess what company this game comes from? Funko. Yeah. Jeez, he's obsessed with Funko. I can't help they came out with like 40 games this year. So the game look, is pretty simple, and you can play with up to four players. You have red cards and you have green cards. The green cards are the um, four star, four light bulb patterns, and all the red cards have three light bulb patterns. So um, go ahead and shuffle that one up. Together? No, no, no. Just all the red ones together. There's only four green ones because you only get one for each player, so that would be your four players. Then you have the the to the um, cardboard pieces, the little lights and. Um, Oh, there's just more in here than I thought there was. A lot deeper down.
says I'll put them in a stack, but whatever, that's close enough. So now we each get two red ones. And we get one green one, and you don't show anyone else your cards. But I can look. Right? You can look. So now the object of the game is you're going to, um, you're going to make matches to these lights. I believe actually you put two down right away. Let me... Two of these, and you already and you just play them out. So now, um, as you can see, all these little um, uh, square ones have two light bulbs in each of them, and they all connect together. Sometimes, sometimes there's broken wires that end a pattern. Um, ah, and then there's ones that have plus signs on them. When we see one, we'll show it to you. And those ones you play on top of or adjacent to any tile in any orientation. So um, normally you can only play on the sides. You can't, you can't do diagonal, you can't do on top of them unless it has a plus sign to go on top. So you're wanting to make your pattern. So the youngest player gets to go first, which is me. Baha mug. <laughs> so I draw my card and then I play my card. And I don't have any matches yet, so now it's her turn. I wasn't listening to the directions. Draw a card, all. and then play the card, and then if it matches any of the patterns that you have. Oh. Okay. Like that. Oh, but I have to go like this. There we go. Yep. Oops. Look, I would have had enough that time. Mm, I'm sorry. So does it can it can it go this you way? You can go too? this way, yep. So that would go it goes this way, or does it have to be the same? It has to be the same strings. So this is red red, this is green red, this is green blue. Wait, what a, like I can start here, right? Yeah, so oh, okay. blue, green, and then whatever color here, or purple, blue, green. Okay. All right. So as you see, this one has two broken wires, so um, it'll just break any pattern if I had played it a different direction that connected those. So as you see here, these two wires would have to match up if you play something here. Okay. Can you start in the middle of a pattern? What do you mean? Say you had. No, no, no. It, it has to. It has to be in the order. So if the colors are red, blue, yellow, it has to be red, blue, yellow. You can't do blue, yellow, red. Whatever the patterns are, you can go. It has to be that order that you have. Okay. Now that one's a plus sign, so it show that she has a little plus on it. So if she wanted, she could play this on top of an existing tile if it would make a different oh. matchup. Oh. And so the game just keeps on going. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think he thought it was going to take me this No, long. no, no. It's a quick game and she, she's putting a lot of thought into it. Um, the game keeps on going until either A, one person matches all three of the cards in their hand, or B, you run out of tiles. If you run out of tiles, then the person with the most points wins. If there's a tie, if one of them does not have the four 
matches, they're the loser. So let's say um, we uh, there's a tie for points, which I don't know how that would work if I would have seven and you would have six if you didn't have that one. So that one doesn't make sense why they said if there's a tie, the person with the four um, pattern one wins. But um, either way, uh, you just keep going until you match all of your cards. The first person to match all three of their cards wins. I think I did something. Well, you don't need to tell me. Oh. Because then I can, if I get a plus sign, I can break that. But I don't know if I did it right. Okay, I guess show me then. Yellow, purple, or wait, blue, purple, yellow. No, no green's not attached. Green's not, yeah, see, I told you to keep on thinking they're attached. I think I did something. Are you going to tell me again? You know, you, if, if any of the ones that I play give you a match, it counts. Okay, but it... it okay, it, it didn't. It, 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 uh, uh, e. Uh, e, mm, e, e, e. Oh, it did, it does not. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's your turn. purple, blue, and then, uh, where was it, uh, purple, blue, yellow, and then purple, yellow, red. Let me make sure this isn't anywhere. <laughs> yep, it is. Hmm. Oh, it's not. These <laughs> two players I don't think so I think you would just have more competition and trying to make the patterns and... I don't think you'd get anything done <laughs> I got a lot done we'll I got to, two done we'll have to try it sometime um, so anyways that's the game um, this is the first time we actually played it since we got it I thought it was fun it was fun but I don't see how more than two people can play it I don't I really really I don't I don't see why you would think it would be difficult I look how hard I was I was well, that's just you. That's on other people. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions for any games you'd like to see us play, leave them down in the comments. Any suggestions for drinks, go ahead and leave those down in the comments as well. Any kind of drinks, even if it's non-alcoholic, if it's a drink, we'll drink it. Um, and uh, we'll tell you about it. If you want to join us for an episode, hit us up and let us know. We'd love to have some extra people to play with us. Um, and uh, some old friends we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, as always, please hit that like and that share button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and uh, help us grow our page. Don't we have to wait till COVID's done though? For we, friends we haven't we can seen have, in a long time. We can have a mask. Yeah, well, we can do a mask if we're worried about it, but we're allowed to have less than 10 people with um, two separate households in one build in one house. And as long as we stay socially distant from them, it's not a big deal. We can okay. be safe about it okay. and have more than just me and you, especially okay. if it's people that we see anyways. Cheers. Cheers.